Is your Mac feeling slower lately? Or apps taking forever to open? Are you seeing that rainbow wheel every second on your display? Well, you might be the reason your Mac is acting sluggish. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Editors. Today in this video, we are busting seven everyday habits that are actually crushing your Mac's performance. At the end of the video, I will also share a bonus tip. Let's put a pause on these bad habits before your Mac gives up on you. Every app you install wants a free ride at the startup. Click on Apple logo at the left side top corner, navigate to system settings. Make sure you click on general in the next window. On right, navigate to login items and extensions. At the very top, you're going to see open at login. These items will open automatically when you log in. Every app you see in this window will use significant amount of CPU and memory at the startup. And that is going to make your Mac get exhausted. You can go ahead and click on these apps one by one and then click on this remove button at the bottom and simply remove them from the startup. Personally, I prefer opening my apps when I need them. I don't want them to actually kick in at the startup all the time. I personally know many users who never shut down their Macs or restart them. They simply flip the screen, leaving Mac on for weeks builds memory pressure. A simple restart resets the memory and it stops runway processes. It's like giving your Mac fresh lungs. Once a week is all it takes. When your drive is over 90% full, Mac OS slows because it has no space to breathe. Keep at least 15 to 20 gigabytes of space free for swap and updates. In system settings window under general, you have this option storage, and that's where you see the whole distribution of the storage on your drive. In this window, you can scroll down and check under apps or under bin or documents if there's something you see heavier and that you do not need on your Mac necessarily. You should go in and eliminate that. Or watch our full guide about how to optimize Mac and gain some space on it after this video. You can also buy an external SSD to divert the heavy amount of data. Keep your Mac drive always lighter. You can find links in the description for the video, also for best possible SSDs compatible with the Macs. When you have multiple tabs open and sitting unnecessarily in your browser, each tab use the RAM and CPU, even in the background, especially in Google Chrome. If you hover the mouse on each tab you have open, you will notice the amount of memory usage under every tab. Therefore, you can go ahead and close unnecessary tabs that are open. You do not need any more, or you can also put them in the bookmarks list for later. This sounds extremely basic, extremely common, but believe me when I'm telling you, I have seen six out of 10 users not paying attention to the updates, whether it's about apps or OS. So for your information, updates don't just add some emojis or some new wallpapers. They patch bugs and memory leaks. You skip them and your system keeps fighting the old problems. Next time you see a prompt, updates available, you should go in and review them and install them immediately. When you don't have some essential tasks to do, you can come down to the system settings window under general, click on software update. And here you can manually check for possible updates available. Moreover, click on this I button here and enable all these features. Download new updates when available, install Mac OS updates. Every icon up here is quietly sipping resources. You should close what you don't need necessarily in the menu bar, what is running in the background. Get to system settings under general. On right, when you scroll it down, you will see the app background activities. And if you find any unnecessary app that is running in the background here, you should go ahead and disable them quickly right from this button. Close what you don't need. In fact, in the dock, look for any app that has got this dot symbol at the bottom. And if you're not using it, make a right click 
and quit. Make a right click and quit. These are the apps running in the background and you don't need them necessarily. You declutter your digital workspace and your Mac starts breathing easier. See, Mac OS looks gorgeous, especially Mac OS Tahoe with the liquid glass effect everywhere. But the blurs and animations, they use significant amount of GPU. Get to system settings. Right below general, you're going to see accessibility. Click on it. On right, click on display. And in the next window, enable reduced transparency. You keep the look, but gain speed and the battery life. And here's the bonus tip for you. I've seen many users who are friend, they have got their Mac desktops absolutely cluttered. Hundreds of folders or files always stacked on their desktops. Every desktop icon is rendered in real time. Hundreds of files mean extra CPU work. If you have a cluttered Mac desktop, then make a right click anywhere on the screen and choose this option, use stacks to clean up instantly. Now your Mac will refresh faster. So stop doing these and give your Mac little extra room to breathe. Anyways, which one were you guilty of? Comment below. And if you're ready to go deeper, watch our full guide about Mac optimization beyond the basic steps that you follow. If you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks, and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.